Welcome to Don Carindiria series. All pasta lovers out there, rejoice. We're going to be cooking another pasta recipe for you. And this is tuna pasta putanesca. Let's prepare the ingredients. Right now, I'm mincing some garlic. This is about six to eight cloves of garlic. One thing that I like about putanesca is that it only requires a few ingredients. Next thing we're gonna prepare is the garlic's best friend, the onion. For this recipe, we're gonna dice one medium onion. Instead of using the usual tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce, I'm using a canned version this time from Tesco. It's finely chopped tomatoes. Also, I bought this pitted olives from Figaro. Next thing to do is we're going to chop some olives. One of the main ingredients in putanesca is this, anchovies. This Doña Elena is the only brand that I see at the groceries. Maybe some are available online. Please support my family and friends YouTube channels, Angela Balan, Sherilyn Vlogs, My Diary, Seafarer Joanna, and lastly, Donny Ray Cabral Official. Let's get these babies out of the camp first. I'm only chopping some of it, but I'm gonna include everything in this recipe. You don't need to finely chop the anchovies because they will melt later in the sauce. I think we're done with the ingredients, so mise en place, check! Let's start cooking! For pasta dishes, I use olive oil. On medium heat, saute your onions first. Once translucent, add your minced garlic.
I'm adding now our anchovies. Mix everything together. For my tuna pasta puttanesca, I'll be using the gold seas tuna and the variety is the one with the lemon flavor. You can use any tuna brand of your choice. Just a reminder to you get the, the one in brine or olive oil so the flavor won't conflict with our puttanesca. We will be adding our tuna now. If you like a meatless puttanesca, this part is optional. More shout outs to my content creator friends. Some brand sisters venture. Joanna P. Miss Levy AJ. Arlene B.E. ICM Edna Oduka Jean Vibes Vlogs Carol Caro And lastly, Roshu Vlog It's time to add our finely chopped tomatoes. Feel free to use fresh tomatoes here. At this point, I'm adding our chopped olives. If you happen to have capers, you may add them here. To develop the taste of our food, add salt and pepper. Some people ask me about this grinder. Well, this salt and pepper grinders are available at SNR and at Save More. If you live outside the Philippines, they are available at Costco. If you want a spicier puttanesca, add some chili flakes. We'll be cooking the sauce in very low heat to marry all the flavors. Always taste your food. While we're simmering our sauce, let's prepare our pasta. Add some salt to your pot of briskly boiling water. Notice that I don't put oil in my pasta water. 
It will prevent the sauce to cling to our pasta. Don't do that. Add now your spaghetti. I'm a huge fan of Barilla pasta and I'm using here the number 5. According to the package instructions, al dente perfection in 9 minutes. So we need to follow that rule. You got to follow that rule or you never know. You got to follow that rule, follow that rule, follow that rule. Combine your spaghetti and the sauce. Make sure that your pasta is fully coated with our wonderful sauce. This is when I appreciate having more than one burner in my oven. You can cook your pasta and your sauce at the same time. It's really okay to get some pasta water into our sauce. It will act as a thickener. To our pasta dish. Get your dinner plates ready, guys! This is your perfectly splendid tuna pasta puttanesca. Enjoy! Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.